Welcome, class. In this episode, we're going to talk about miles. Always make sure that you have your seatbelts on when you go driving. Seatbelt, check. Hezzy and baggy, check. Seatbelts, check. Let's go. Let's go. We're talking about miles. miles. We're talking about how far you can go. If you're three feet tall, well, a mile being 5,280 feet, that means you would need 1,760 copies of yourself all in a line to get one mile, 5,280 feet. But if you're four feet tall, you won't need as many. That's a little bit taller, so you could describe one mile as 1,320 copies of yourself if you're four feet tall. Whoa! That's right, we can go really far, and miles are a way for us to measure how far we've gone. There are 12 inches in one foot, and there are 5,280 feet in one mile. Whoa! If you're running on a track, say at a football field or a soccer field, then you only need to go around the track about mm, four times to get one mile. Now that could change obviously by a few feet here and there depending on if you're really close to the green grass or if you're on the outside track and you're further away from the green grass. But still, you could say four laps equals one mile. We're going to go several miles right now. We're going to go several miles and then we'll just turn around and go back. What about a football field? That's 300 feet or 100 yards from one end zone to the other. You would need 17.6 football fields all connected to get one mile. That's almost 18, but it's a little bit bigger than 17. Remember, miles are the unit of measurement that we use here in the West to tell us how far we've gone. It's really handy when we're in a car or in a plane, like the distance in a car from Kansas City to Salt Lake City, that's over 1,000 miles. It's really far. If you were to travel from Chicago, Illinois to Salt Lake City by car, that's a distance of about 1,400 miles. That could take at least two days, if not three days by car. And if you go from Atlanta to Los Angeles, California, that's 2,200 miles almost. It could take you several days to get there. On the odometer here, it now says 9.6. 9.6 miles per hour. Just miles how far we've gone. And now it says 9.7. That means nine and seven tenths of a mile. Oh, 9.8. 9.8. Now it's gonna say 9.9. .9. What comes next if we're going by increments of a tenth? 9.10. Which makes it not 9.10, but just 10. We're at 10 miles now. 5,280 feet are in a mile. 12 inches in a foot and 300 feet are on the field. The gridiron where touchdowns are made and dreams are real. Throw a football over the mountains five miles away. Cross the Colorado in a gondola. Go to St. Petersburg in a tiny raft. The highest mountains outside of Nepal. Go to Yellowstone to ride a buffalo. Five thousand two hundred eighty feet are in a mile. Twelve inches. 
inches in a foot and 300 feet are on the field. The gridiron room where touchdowns are made and dreams are real. Throw a football over them mountains five miles away. Swim the deepest seas right next to Guam. Hike the Wasatch Mountains with anchovies. Ew. Swim the English Channel faster than Phelps. Tour the dark side of the moon in a rover. In 280 feet or in a mile 12 inches in a foot and 300 feet are on the field The grid I run where touchdowns are made and dreams are real Throw a football over them mountains five miles away All right, now we're at 10.2 miles. We've gone 10.2 miles since we reset the trip meter. We're at 10.3 now. That's a little bit bigger than 10 miles. Here we go. It's going to be 10.4. 10.4! That's almost 10 and a half miles. The Earth orbits around the Sun in what could be described as an ellipse. It takes about 91 and a half million miles to get from the Earth to the Sun in early January, and then later in July, it takes about 94 and a half million miles to get to the Sun from the Earth. That would take you over 100 years if you could travel in a car from the Earth to the Sun. Or if you were in a really fast rocket ship or a satellite, you could probably make the trip in just over 100 days. But 90 million plus miles is a long distance. That's right, don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. If you had fun learning about simple facts like 5,280 feet make up a mile, and that we use miles here in the Western world, well, at least in some parts of the Western world, and kilometers in other parts of the Western world, we'll have to do a different episode on that, then you're in the right place. If you're young and loves numbers, subscribe to that newsletter. We'll catch you on the next episode. God bless.